now to the race for 2016 tonight. Started with Donald Trump on the ground in New Hampshire today, officially filing for the primary there, but having to answer for this controversial retweet, taking aim at Jeb Bush with an image of a sombrero and a swastika. And just days from hosting Saturday Night Live now, there are calls tonight for Trump to be pulled from his hosting duties. ABC's Tom Yamas on the trail. In New Hampshire today, Donald Trump is still the best show in town. To me, it feels like a historic day. Smiling for selfies as he officially files to be on the primary ballot. Well, this may be a very, very important signature, or maybe not so important. But behind the scenes, his campaign dealing with a PR nightmare after Trump retweeted this tweet. Adios, Jeb, a.k.a. Jose. The tweet also included these images. The Bush family next to a swastika and Jeb in a mariachi outfit. Trump has prided himself on his Twitter skills. I do my own tweets, 90%. Today, his campaign insists he did not see the accompanying image and the retweet has since been deleted. The episode further infuriating Hispanic groups. Tonight, protesting outside the Saturday Night Live studios. Trump hosts this week and in this promo takes aim at the man who's become his toughest competition. Because of equal time rules for television, Mr. Trump can only speak for four seconds in this promo. So let me just say this. Ben Carson is a complete and total loser. Carson saying he won't watch him and that hosting SNL is not for him. I think the presidency is a very serious thing and I don't like making light of it like that. David, Trump and Carson will meet again next week at the next Republican debate. And tomorrow we'll find out who else will be on the main stage. New polls show Governor Chris Christie and Mike Huckabee may not make the cut. David? Tom Yamas with us again tonight. Thank you, Tom.